Well, happy weekend. This is Jeremy Knight, pastor at St. Paul's United Methodist Church, uh, with your weekly update, just keeping you in the loop of what's going on here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church. Uh, in just a couple of uh, short hours, a uh, small crew of us are going to be going to celebrate the wonderful work and character and all-around awesome person that Elizabeth Kaiser is, who serves as our treasurer and our church administrator. As uh, this week, we are reminded, those of you that work in an office setting, of just how valuable um, the administrative folks that work behind the scenes are. And so we're going to do that today for lunch. It's just a small token to appreciate all that Elizabeth does. And when you see her uh, in the coming weeks, would you let her know how grateful you are for her incredible work much of which happens behind the scenes to make sure that this beautiful place uh, keeps chugging right along and does so in beautiful ways. So we are so grateful. Uh, we've got a lot of things happening over the next several weeks that you may have already heard of, but we want to make sure that you are totally clear on uh, a couple of the facts and some of the things that we want you to really be here for and to be aware of. Uh, we have three special Sundays in a row, actually starting this Sunday with UWF Sunday. Um, United Women in Faith, um, our local station here, will be leading us in all facets of worship. We look very much forward to those ladies uh, exemplifying service for us and are so grateful for their ongoing um, just ministry among us and how much they really help us as a church uh, serve one another and serve our neighbors. And so they'll be leading. And then right after the service this Sunday, um, we're going to have a quick yearly check-in for everyone that works with children or youth on our campus, as well as anyone that has a key to any of our buildings. Um, by virtue of our policies, we have to have a yearly check-in where we go through um, our policies and procedures as it pertains to our children and how we care for them and our youth. And so um, that will take about 20 minutes probably here in the sanctuary. So please, if that is you, uh, please be sure to be here. Oh, that's a really important thing that we have to do to stay up to date with our policies and procedures. Um, and I forgot to mention, shame on me, that as a part of UWF Sunday, uh, this is also Undie Sunday. And I know this has happened here for several years now, but um, you're asked to bring or to donate um, underwear and or socks this year uh, to be distributed to a couple of our mission partners. And so the UWF do this each year. And so this year is no different on Sunday. And I pray that you, if you haven't already brought in some of those items that you would consider doing so Sunday when you arrive. Now, next Sunday, May 5th, uh, will not only be uh, family worship where we will observe uh, Holy Communion and our children will be with us, but it will also be Servant Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, we will focus on the ways that we are called to serve, not just with inside of the walls of our church, but most importantly, outside of them. And so you'll hear a little bit more about our mission partnerships in our community that day. Um, you'll be challenged uh, to really think about what it means for us as a church to be a servant church, to be a servant leader in our community. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to get together um, and we're going to have a, a wonderful meal together in the, out of the fellowship hall. And so you'll be hearing more details about that in the coming days. Uh, so just know that that's coming on May the 5th and we want you all to be there. It's going to be a great, great day together. And then the third and final special Sunday here in a row will be May the 12th, which happens to fall on Mother's Day. Not only will we honor our mothers that day, but we will also uh, recognize our graduating seniors. We have four graduating seniors that are connected to St. Paul's. And so that day, uh, most of them will be with us and we'll honor them. Um, and in anticipation of that, many of you are already aware, we offer them a brand new Bible when they graduate. And those Bibles are actually... Um, already out in the narthex uh, next to a placard with each of those students' names. And we're asking you between now and May the 12th to come by uh, to sign the inside cover of one of those Bibles, um, to share a word of wisdom, perhaps a possible uh, a favorite scripture that you may have uh, to share with those wonderful, wonderful young people that will be graduating high school in the coming weeks. All right. Uh, so really cool things happening all in the next three weeks. Uh, I hope that you will make it a priority to be with us as we uh, continue to do life together, uh, continue to build the kingdom by building disciples and, uh, and love and serve our neighbors. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Can't wait to see you very soon this Sunday morning, 1030 a.m. 
you can be here in person. If you can't make it, we'll be online, of course, at our Facebook channel, uh, Facebook page, excuse me, and our YouTube channel. All right. Grace and peace to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.